this is a short little video to show how I replaced the accelerator cable on my Volvo 850. And uh, the cable hasn't broken yet, but I found a lot of stuff on this old car is um, about ready to break. So I've been replacing it before it actually breaks, just so it's more reliable. It doesn't leave um, the driver stranded. It's an automatic, so I'm using the uh, cable for the automatic, which is Volvo 9157601. Got it from the dealer. Cost about 40 bucks. The original cable has got a lot of um, missing plastic sheathing. It's missing the little rubber tip that is uh, present on the new one. You can see. And uh, the old cable just looking pretty rusty. And um, I'm going to take it out and check and see if anything is frayed or about to break. But I'm definitely going to put in the new one. So the first thing to do is take off this cover. I got my handy Torx 25, my little ratcheting screwdriver that I got at Harbor Freight for about eight bucks that I love. And um, Yeah, that exposes the um, the cable. I'll set this down. So um, I'm just gonna clean off some of the dirt and grime before I take out the old cable and um, it looks like you just <clears throat> take the um, pressure off <clears throat> the cable and then you <clears throat> you can slide it out of the um, the slot at the top and I don't see any frayed I don't see any fraying or damage to the cable so that's good probably doesn't need to be replaced <clears throat> but um, I said that about the uh, alternator the starter the camshaft position sensor and uh, it turned out they did need to be replaced over the years so this is loose next gotta figure out how to get this loose looks like there's a clip I'm guessing you have to pull up on that clip to loosen that. I think I might need to pry up on it a little bit. Let me get a screwdriver. Yeah, I can feel it coming up with a little bit of pry. This is just the bit of a flathead screwdriver. <laughs> Pry that up. I think I'm going to get a bigger screwdriver. Or 
got me a little a little pry bar. Yep, there it goes. You just pry it up. And it comes up and out. I'll clean that up. <clears throat> Handy to have a little pry bar. Usually I take that with me to the junkyard. <clears throat> So then, this is just loose. Great. So that just comes straight out. And um, I'll just clean that up a little bit. And then we'll move back to the... Uh, I guess we'll have to go inside the car to loosen the cable up at the pedal. Okay, this is inside the... Uh, inside the car. I've got to remove the three screws that hold this cover on so that I can get to the area where the um, cable attaches. So this is pretty easy. Just loosen these guys up. Nothing to it. Just come right out. And uh, this out. Then this um, cover just comes down and uh, out. You just have to be careful pulling it out that you don't break it off the uh, plastic tabs in the back. It's always a little tricky to get it in and out so you don't break it the tabs. <clears throat> there's a tab there, and there's a tab over here that have to slot in on the way back in. Uh, yeah, and you can see where I've uh, put a little epoxy and tape to keep that plastic together, because old plastic tends to crack. So now we are in, and we can see I can just barely see back there where the cable comes through the firewall and clips onto that the top of the accelerator pedal. So I think with all the slack out of the, uh, whoops, with all the slack out of the um, cable, shouldn't be too hard to get it out. That's oh yeah. In fact, the pedal is totally loose. Yeah. So this might be a two-handed job. get it out. So if I pull this down, yeah, this little, this little guy comes right out. And there's just a, um, a split. There's a hole in the um, white plastic collar. That looks like I don't know if that's on the new cable or not. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna reuse this part, so I'm gonna go look at the new part and just make sure that I need to uh, think I need to be careful with this with this part right here and not break it because I may need to reuse it. So let me go look at the new part in the bag. And see if that's the case. Yeah, 
in the bag, we're just getting bare cable with ball on the end. So I'm going to need to reuse that white plastic piece. So i got to figure out how to get that off the end of the cable. Whoa! Let's see. So, let's see. There's a slot. The ball does not quite come out the top of this. It's possible I might be able to pry it. I might also be able to pivot and just rotate the old ball out. And that seems to have worked without breaking it. That's lucky. So then the old cable will just pull out through the, uh, the rubber at the top of the cable. And I can go pull the old cable out from the engine bay. And I'm going to save this little white plastic clip because Lord knows that's going to be hard to come by. If I should lose it. So back to the engine bay. So back in the engine bay, I've um, got the loose end of the cable here, and then um, on my car I've got the cable held in place with a, um, a nylon wrap, and you may not have that on your car. That's something I put on there, I think, to hold the cable in place. Uh, and you also won't have this... Uh, tubing on there most likely. That's something, something also I added. So I'm going to um, clip this tie wrap, free that cable up, and then the cable is uh, goes down to the, this rubber grommet, and there is an electrical connector plugged in. It's probably easier to see that from the other side. A, um, a connector that's a little bit cracked. And I'll just disconnect that by squeezing the... Um, I'm going to move this alarm horn cable out of the way. to get that and then squeeze this pull off the electrical connector oh boy that's tight it's going to require two handed I think Maybe it's a, um, the kind where you lift it up. Not too sure. No, it's the kind... That's the kind that you're supposed to squeeze down on. Out of the way. I don't know if it's the kind you lift up on or pull down on. Don't know. If I lift up on it, or pull down on it, cable sure feels loose in the hand, though. That's a good thing. So I decided to come look at the new one, and I can see in the bag that the new one has got a tab 
on the top. So the tab on the top that I'm seeing here is molded into the the new is molded into the cable. So I think I do need to squeeze downwards on the connector. Let's drop the flashlight in order to get that to come off. So I'm gonna do that with two hands. Okay, I ended up getting it by prying up while pushing down with two hands. So I pushed down on the tab and pried up on the back of the tab and that allowed it to pop free. And then at that point, uh, I haven't tried, but I think it should, this connector should come out. Yep. And it is pretty, pretty old looking. This is the, I believe that this is the, uh, the wiring for the switch that controls the automatic transmission uh, downshift or kick down function. So probably after doing this job, you're gonna wanna test that that still works. And then if it doesn't, if it worked before and doesn't work now, it's probably from damage to this old connector. Cause it's pretty old looking. So you gotta move that out of the way. And then this whole cable should come out. It looks like it may have a couple of tabs that need to be released. But I'm gonna look at the new one and see. The new one has also got the same tab, so there's a rubber bushing inside. This whole old cable may just pull out with a little bit of tugging, is what I'm guessing. So I'll just pull on a little bit and see if it comes out. If not, I've got a little... I've got a little nylon pry bar, another little gizmo I got at Harbor Freight that I love. And that's a brake line, so you don't want to pry on that, obviously, and risk damaging an old brake line. Tricky. Doesn't seem to want to come out. sure why that's being so difficult. Hmm. Guess I could get a bigger pry bar. Well, I pulled on this and uh, it snapped off. So, um, not good, but I don't think it's the end of the world because I'm going to replace it anyway. But uh, the plastic snapped off. And uh, left behind part of the plastic and the rubber grommet. So now I can see What's holding it in place is, um, you can see the little white rubber, um, fingers that are holding it in the hole in the firewall. So, I think 
this point this old cable is obviously done for but I'm gonna replace it anyway so I'm just gonna pry it out Harder than I was figuring. Could be I'm doing something completely wrong too, which is why it's so hard. That's always a possibility. Yeah, there's a white plastic collar in there that you can see on the new one it has four tabs that uh, snap and lock it which is a good feature to have hold it in place it just makes it really hard to get the old one out so not sure Whoops. The best way is to get that out. Just have to keep trying different stuff until I get it. Which is half the fun of uh, working on a car when you don't know what you're doing. You have to figure it out. Now, there we go. I got two of the tabs out. So that's allowed most of the grommet to come out. I think I'm pretty close. Of course, could always resort to uh, a cutting implement. Because <laughs> I'll bet once I cut this uh, collar, its ability to resist is going to be a lot less. And it'll probably just come right out. So I'll try that. But that's obviously very destructive.